We have Congressman Garrick Braves with us, who uh, used to be in charge of coastal protection. Give us a little history and then what you understand the current situation to be. Sure. The majority of coastal land loss in Louisiana is tied back to the levees that were built on the lower Mississippi River system. And, and so if you look back historically, dating back to the early 1900s, the state of Louisiana used to grow uh, approximately three-quarters of a square mile per year. Um, it used to, our state was getting bigger. When the Corps of Engineers built levees on the river in the early 1930s, our state began losing an average of 26 square miles a year. And so then we began having oil and gas activities in the coastal area, and that included digging some canals out. And those canals ended up serving as a conduit for saltwater intrusion and storm surge. Here's the thing, though, Garland, that's really important. If the levees had not been built, those canals would have filled in. The, 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 the sediment from the Mississippi River system would have, would have gone and filled those canals in, and they would not have served as a conduit for saltwater intrusion and storm surge, which contribute to coastal land loss. So all of this comes back to the Mississippi River system, the levees, and how the Corps of Engineers manages that. You will never have a sustainable footprint of South Louisiana without fundamental changes to how the Corps of Engineers manages the river system, manages the sediment, and restores some of those distribution channels that used to exist that would send sediment and fresh water out to the wetland areas.